you guys welcome back to another mail day of graded returns um, today we've got some CGC and PSA returns um, we'll go through CGC first uh, these are mine and a couple of customers so there's not a heap um, but just some good returns that have come back in so we start off with a Mewtwo So I've got a 9.5 on that. I was very happy with that. A bit of dust on these. Yeah, so I think it actually looks really good with the blue CGC label. So I was very happy with that one. Next up, we have a Greninja and Zorark. Got a 9. So 8.5 on the surface, so there must be a nick on there somewhere. But it would have been nice to have gotten that in a 9.5. We have a 9.5 Nine Tails. So the CP6 reprint this one. It's a bit dusty from the shipping box. But yeah, beautiful card. Very happy with that. Definitely a keeper. A 9.5 on the Polyrath. So we did really well with a few of them. Now this next one was interesting. It came back with a green label and it inked. Now this is a, a buddy of mine, Matt, who submitted with me. Um, Got a five on the reverse Expedition Charizard, and apparently it's been inked. So definitely not something he would have done, but he did. He buys a lot of collections, so someone's drawn on it somewhere over some stage. So yeah, good centering, but everything else was pretty average. And it got the ink qualifier. Cool green label there. This one was another good grade, really nice condition, Jesse and James. So I was really happy to add that as a Team Rocket. Um, Team Rocket 9.5 can go with a few of my original Team Rocket set gem mints. Next up we have Scizor, which got a 9. So edges 9.5, corners 10. And uh, fell away on the surface and the centering, which I didn't think the centering was that bad. I didn't think it was a nine, but yeah. We'll take a nine. This next one was the the uh, everybody's favorite original card. Base seven. This one was for Steven. So he was happy with that. That was a childhood card. So yeah, nice centering. Everything else is a little bit worse for wear. A Meganium 8.5. These EXs look great in the CGC case. It's one thing I prefer with CGC over PSA is their case. So some cards really stand out in them. 8.5. Then we have another Charizard, another vintage one, and it was a Blaine's. So Blaine's Charizard, good centering, surface was really poor though. So got a six on that. Still a very cool card. Just some surface scratching and yeah, that's probably from a binder. Our final CGC is another Charizard, another remake of the original, it was a reverse and it scored a 9, so straight quad 9s on that, so just a very good 9. Now for PSA, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, I've seen these grades 
was very disappointed with them. Um, easily the most expensive sub I've ever done and got absolutely nowhere with it. Um, the cards are definitely worth more now, but these were keepers and we're all pack fresh. So yeah, I've gone over them since being back and I've really struggled to find a reason as to why I got no tens out of the six, but yeah. So we have a nine. First edition for alligator. That was pack fresh. And we have another nine. So both of these are very, very good examples of this card. Definitely thought, definitely thought they would have got at least one ten out of each, but apparently we're both nine quality. A Shining Steelix first edition. Incredibly good condition. As you can see, the hollow is really nice. Good centering. There's no corner wear. I was very disappointed with this one. And a Kabutops. So shining Kabutops. In a nine as well. If you look through the light there, it's very clean hollow. Four corners are perfect. But yeah, give me a nine. And then our final two for Alligator. Really nice copy of this one. Four good corners again, well centered, no hollow scratches. And the same. So another pack fresh one. So good swell up there. Both got nines. Can't find an issue with either of them. I'm thinking these might have got in before the Genomint started being used, so these could be worth um, a resub or off to Beckett. Um, I'm probably leaning towards Beckett at the moment because um, two and a half grand for, for these and not 110. And I thought they were all definitely 10 quality. Even if I'd only gotten two or three, I would have been happy. Even one, but yeah, they weren't real nice. So, pretty nice looking bunch of cards, but they're probably all up for sale and trade. Um, if not, they're going back for a regrade. So, yeah, hit me up if you got any offers, because I'd probably consider trading them, because now I'm just disappointed when I look at them. Anyway, thanks for watching.